Hi, this is J.D. Ingram of the Charleston Pipe Band, and I want to welcome you to my series on how to be a great piper in three steps. Hey guys, I just want to thank you for joining me. Um, if you haven't met me before, I'm J.D. Ingram. I started bagpiping in 2002, and it is currently 2021, almost 2022. So 20 years I've been bagpiping. And I've been leading the Charleston Pipe Band, formerly known as the Charleston Police Pipes and Drums, for about seven years at this point. Um, if you're joining me because you're part of my band and I sent you this video and told you to watch it, thanks for doing what you're told. Uh, if you're somebody who is not part of my band or doesn't play with me, thanks for joining. Feel free to give me some feedback. Um, basically, what I'm trying to do with this series is put a structure to bagpiping knowledge. I think there's a lot of great tips out there and I've seen tons of really useful five steps and 10 steps and 13 steps and 15 steps. And there's millions of things that are important to being a good bagpiper, but a lot of them I think can be boiled down into basically three categories. And so that's where I've tried to structure the three easy steps, uh, these three categories of assessing any performance of any bagpipes anywhere. And so that's where we're going. Step one, have good finger work. That is everything that you can practice on a practice chanter. All right, step one is what you can practice on a practice chanter, what does that mean? Can everything be practiced on a practice chanter? Yes and no. Uh, you can't practice striking in your bagpipes on a practice chanter. You can't practice blowing steady or cutting out or, you know, whatever. Uh, what, what I'm mostly talking about here are the things like, um, you know, playing the right note in the tune, uh, playing your embellishments, your doublings and burls and all of that playing them accurately, playing them on the beat, playing with rhythm. Rhythm is a super key part of being a good musician of any sort, especially bagpipes. And uh, when it comes to rhythm, we touch further on things like the expression of the Celtic music idiom, uh, why bagpipes are what they are, what, what makes bagpipes such a unique musical instrument and part of a, a really core part of the uh, folk diaspora or folk idiom of music. Um, so we're, we're going to structure the future conversations about good finger work on playing the right notes, playing the right embellishments or good, uh, good embellishments, I guess you could say, and playing with uh, musicality or musical expression. Step two, have a good sounding instrument, because let's face it, not all bagpipes sound alike. Not every bagpipe sounds the same, sure. Uh, that's an easy cop out. Uh, you could say that, well, yeah, my bagpipe doesn't sound as good as Field Marshal Montgomery's because, you know, whatever they've got, they're cheating or I don't know what. Uh, that, that's, that's absolutely not the truth. Wow. I, I don't know. Uh, Richard Parks hooked me up if you've got some secret uh, in on, on special secret magic tone. But in general, the quality of your instrument is uh, a necessary precursor to having good tone. You can see, I, I can put Richard Parks or Stuart Little on a really crappy toy set of Pakistani made bagpipes that deserve to be mounted on the wall of a cheesy Scottish themed pub. They're not going to sound as good as they do when they're performing at the Worlds or at the whatever. Um, but likewise, uh, you could put me or you could put probably you on Richard Parks bagpipes and it wouldn't sound as good as when Richard Parks played them because the second part of that is can you blow the bagpipes the way they need to be blown at the right pressure, at a steady pressure, and without wavering because you're not distracted and you're not tired and you're not everything else. Um, 
And only once you've got them blown steady and at the right pressure can you worry about getting them in tune because weather changes, things change, reeds get wet, things go flat or sharp or out of balance and so you're going to have to always be cycling back to making sure things are in tune. So the good sounding instrument, having a well-maintained instrument that is blown well and then in tune in that order. And we'll talk about that in the future. Step three, have good presentation because how you look performing the instrument makes just as big of an impact as how you sound performing the instrument. So the last of the big categories, uh, imagine, actually I heard this story. So somebody hired a bagpiper to come play at his, I think it was his father's funeral or maybe it was his friend's wedding. I don't know. It was, it was a serious ceremony. And the bagpiper showed up in like khakis and a polo shirt and kind of milled about in the back and, you know, played okay, but it just didn't uh, hit the ceremony. Like when you're hiring a bagpiper, a Scottish Highland traditional bagpiper playing great Highland bagpipes, you expect somebody to be in tartan. You expect somebody to be in like a dress shirt with a tie. Uh, and you expect them to kind of carry out this military history that surrounds the instrument. Uh, if you're hiring them for something like a wedding or a ceremony like that, alternatively, you might be hiring a bagpiper for, you know, a red hot chili pepper show. Uh, but once again, if they showed up in khakis and a polo shirt, that's, that's probably not what you're looking for. Right. Um, and on the flip side, you, you know, you see these street performers and stuff who really get all into their performance and they, you know, dress up, uh, there's, you get the, the guy with the flaming bagpipes and stuff. People think that guy's great. Uh, if you turned off the video and listened to it, he's not the worst bagpiper I've ever heard, but he's not great. He's, he's okay. That, that might be being generous. Um, but the point is people a lot of times hear with their eyes. And so looking like you know what you're doing, it can be almost as important as sounding like you know what you're doing. Um, so uh, pay attention to how you look when you perform. Here we are, the three easy steps. Have good finger work, good sounding instrument, and good presentation. These of course are broken down and further detail over the coming videos. Thanks for joining. Take care, guys.